Hello, it's me again. <clears throat> Today I'm going to, uh, oh, this is a coronavirus edition of this. So Today I'm going to show you that you can run the uh, uh, NVIDIA DeepStream on the Connect for Azure using the Jetson Nano. And as you can see, I made it all portable. So what I've got here is I've got the uh, Connect for Azure right here. And there's a, a webcam here. And I've got the other webcam in my hand, but that'll going to go up here. And uh, as you can see, this bottom picture right here on the left, this is the uh, Connect for Azure. And this is the one webcam, and this is the other webcam. So I'll give you, I'll give you a little better picture of like uh, how it's set up. Um, like, uh, like I say, there's the Connect for Azure. Uh, there's the uh, one webcam. There's the uh, Jetson Nano, and then it's all being powered by this battery. Now this uh, this setup right here with all three cameras, uh, it'll run for two hours on this uh, 18 volt battery. So let's see. Let's get going. Here's the back of it. You know, this is the Jetson Nano. You know, and uh, what it is, I, I have this program running. I'll show you the program I have running. And what it is, it's recording to a video. So, uh, so let's see if we can get this running here. So, and there's my keyboard. If you can see my put my wireless keyboard is right there, USB keyboard. And uh, this is just another look at like the. The, the nano and see there's the battery right there so like I say that battery 18 volt battery will run this rig for like two hours so so here what it is is I I parked and I got out kinda of where I live and uh, just walked out to the a busy intersection and started uh, filming now uh, you know with all this coronavirus stuff out you know People kind of creeped out when they saw me standing out in the road with this thing pointing it at them. So, I don't know, maybe they thought I was like, who knows what they thought I was. But, uh, like, there's this. And then uh, I'll, I'll have another one where it shows me driving around. But here's the program that's running. It's just your, your general uh, 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 nano program from the deep stream. And I basically just, uh, let's see, what I, this is the one I have, this is my main one I use when I run my uh, IP cameras and my uh, webcams. So the first ones are IP cameras and they're all off. And then all I did was just uh, enable four uh, webcam sources and it seemed to work. I was surprised, you know. Uh, that it worked on the the connect for azure but as you can see there's the connect for azure i mean the picture i think i could do a little better with the picture quality but i think that uh, i just have to do put the proper uh filters on this image but as you can see the connect for azure is running um the uh the nvidia deep stream so uh, let's see. So that's about it. I mean, it wasn't that difficult. Once you set it up, I show, I'll show, I showed you, I put a video out earlier on how to set it up. And once you set it up, um, basically this, just doing this right here. Let's see. Doing this right here, we'll call the command up and start it. Now it won't start the depth stream, but it'll start the video stream. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So I'm gonna have to delve into this that 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 the uh, the the in connect for Azure recognizes is being recognized by this command. So um, that that's about it. Um, uh, I get. I hope everybody's safe. Make sure you get your masks on and wash your hands. Thank you.